This story appeared in the June 2022 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia This story is part of Forbes coverage of Malaysia's richest 2022. See the full list here. The fortunes of Malaysia's rubber glove tycoons took a nosedive as COVID-19 cases fell worldwide and demand eased for personal protective gear. Amid the bleak outlook for glove exports and other global headwinds, the index of Malaysian healthcare stocks has dropped 37% in the past year, with glove manufacturers among the worst performers. But while the Malaysian Rubber Glove Manufacturers Association expects shipments to drop substantially this year, following a 55% rise to $55 billion in 2021, it will likely remain above pre-pandemic levels. The industry has certainly been on a roller coaster ride throughout the pandemic, says Association President Supermanian Sean Meha. With the pandemic tapering off, it's a self correcting phase and we are headed back to normal supply and demand dynamics. Malaysian glove makers, who supply 65% of global demand, also face competition from Chinese and Thai rivals, and their operating costs are rising amid increased EU. A scrutiny. The Big Four, Hardalega Holdings, Top Glove, Kasan Rubber Industries and Supermax, have made remediation payments since 2020 to foreign workers, who paid exorbitant recruitment fees to get jobs, and implemented a higher government mandate and wage standard from May 1st. Kwon Kamon of Hardalega saw the fortune that he shares with his brother have since last year to $1.9 billion. Hardalega, in which he holds a 46% stake, fell 57% even as fiscal 2022 revenue rose 18% to 7. 9 billion ringgit, 1 dollar, 8 billion, from the year earlier. Lim Lee Chai, founder of Top Glove, saw his wealth shrink 60% to 1 dollar, 4 billion in tandem with a 70% revenue drop for the 6 months ended February 2022. Malaysia-based RHB Research has cut its fiscal 2022 earnings forecast for Top Glove by 19%, and the fiscal 2023 projection by 4%. Lin Kuang Xia's net worth nearly halved to $740 million as shares of Kasan Rubber, in which he holds a 48% stake along with his brothers, fell 60% in the past year. The company's net profit plunged 91% in the first quarter of this year after more than doubling in 2021. Shares of Wang Teak Sun's Riverstone Holdings, which reported a steep drop in revenue and net profit in the first quarter of 2022, declined 47%, dragging its fortune down by more than a third to $565 million.